This meeting of U.S. business executives with China's President Xi Jinping is another example of how China is trying to boost foreign investment here. Money has been flowing out of the economy because of tighter restrictions and slower growth, along with tensions between the U.S. and China. The CEOs of Blackstone, Qualcomm, FedEx, Chubb and Bloomberg were among the invited guests, according to state media. The meeting uh, happened as a separate event to a business development forum that all of these CEOs uh, were here to attend and follows on from a dinner that Xi Jinping attended with business leaders in San Francisco last November. The message here is that China welcomes foreign business, but the reality here is that it's hard. There are challenges with new rules, uh, an uncertain regulatory environment, as well as raids on some consulting firms. Uh, China has also been pushing self-sufficiency in several industries. And at the same time, the U.S. has imposed export controls on technology and earlier this week uh, joined the U.K. in accusing China of cyber attacks. Now, it doesn't appear that Apple's CEO Tim Cook was at that Xi meeting, but he has been in China on a charm offensive for much of the past week. Sales here in a very important market for Apple are down 24 percent year over year, mainly because of competition from Chinese rivals like Huawei. Cook has said that Apple will continue to invest in China in its supply chain and also in R&D. At this meeting today, Xi Jinping told the CEOs that geopolitically it's important for the U.S. and China to remain on a stable footing. China is hoping for growth of around 5 percent this year, and that's a target some economists have deemed ambitious. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.